Hey guys, it's Dime from Bakes for Bubbles, and today I'm super excited to be sharing a review of this bag. It is the Louis Vuitton Palermo GM, and I have a really fun story with this bag. I've actually had a history with this style. This bag is new to me from Fashion File, and I've actually owned this style one time before. And if you want to get technical, actually a few times before. I've owned the GM, the Palermo GM, about 10 years ago pretty recently after it was introduced and I really love this style but at the time I was just getting ready to have kids and we weren't doing quite as much traveling and I really felt like the style was a little bit too big for every day and I wasn't really into using my handbags exclusively for a diaper bag at that point. And it is a really good bag, good size bag. If you wanted to use it for a diaper bag, you could. Um, it's a really great travel size. So it's 18 inches wide. It is 14 inches tall. And then the depth of it, you can see it has a really nice depth. It's about seven and a half inches deep. And it holds its shape really, really nicely. So you can see down inside, I have some stuffing in there and there is like a dust bag in there. Um, but you can see when it's got things in it, it holds its shape really, really nicely. Um, it also has this big pocket down here in the back. And then it has um, some flat pockets here in the front. There's the old style cell phone pocket for when our cell phones were that shape. Not quite that shape anymore. Um, but really a lot of space. You could put an organizer in here. A lot of different things. So I really love this style. But at that point in my life, it was just a little bit too big. I wasn't wanting to use it as a dipper bag because I didn't want to get it messed up. So I actually ended up selling my Palermo GM and I got the Palermo PM. I have a number of videos on my channel with the Palermo PM. I use it quite a bit. And how I configured that at that point in my life, I had a baby and a toddler during that time period. I would use the Palermo PM for my purse and it was really great because you could toss like a diaper like just set down in there like a diaper and some wipes easy grab and go and then I would carry a diaper bag separately that would have any liquids and all those sorts of things separate from my handbag that configuration really worked great and as time went by my kids had gotten older they are 9 and 11 now so we are in a much different stage of life we're looking at doing more traveling once the world opens back up and I kept coming back to this style bag. I knew what a great size it was. I knew how much it could hold. I love the configuration of these straps that are really adjustable. You can see there's a number of notches here to adjust the drop. It's got a really comfortable drop on it, um, but it also has this longer strap that you can take off easily with these clips. And you can wear it cross body really easily as well. So it's really easy to configure this handbag and just really, really easy to use. Lots of space inside, plenty of space for an organizer. And so I kept coming back to this style. And if you've been around for a while, you know that I kind of swore off monogram for a while. So I had to go through quite the mental gymnastics to get back to the point that I was willing to buy a monogram handbag. But at the end of the day, I decided that it was worth it to have this style that I knew I was really going to love. I hoped it was going to work well once we do a little bit more road tripping and eventually we'll go back to airplanes and all those sorts of things. And I thought this would be a great style to ease back into that. So I recently found this on Fashion File. It's a pre-loved handbag. You can see it's in pretty good condition. Um, it actually looks like it's in, I mean, like really good condition, probably even better condition than if I would have had my own Palermo. Um, that many years. This is made in France and I think that these older bags are just a little bit better construction than some of the newer ones. This is my personal opinion. So I am glad I took the dive and added it back into my collection. I will share some what's in my bag videos especially once we start you know kind of getting back into travel. The one thing I did remember from owning the Palermo PM and GM, both the zippers used to do that. this. It has this great charm on here, which adds some great detail. I also really love the pleats on the Palermo. But this zipper, while it's really thick and really substantial, it's probably one of the most substantial zippers that Louis Vuitton has on any of their handbags. Really great zipper, but it tends to kind of get stuck if you get it too close down here to the end. So that's one thing I hit up on when I had my Palermo PM is I would always kind of leave it down here towards the edge. I wouldn't pull it all the way down to the end. It just made it a little bit easier to zip open and close. But other than that, it's a really solid style. Um, you can fit a ton in here. Works great for a laptop bag. You can easily fit like a 13 inch Mac in here, some magazines, file folders. 
you know, really whatever you want to use it for. So I'm planning on using it to go back and forth to work, some traveling, and just a lot of versatile uses. So I will share this in some upcoming videos, but I wanted to just do a general review because I look back on my channel and my Palermo GM was in one of my earliest videos, one of the early bag collection videos, and then I think I sold it. Uh, before I really started doing videos very frequently. So this may be one of the few videos that I actually have on my channel, but like I said, I do have a lot of Palermo PM style videos. That really worked great for a season of life. Um, but I'm looking forward to welcoming this back into my collection and I think it should be an awesome handbag for the uses that I'm hoping to use it for. Um, pretty durable, um, great for travel, going back and forth to work and all those sorts of things. So let me know if you have any questions down below and I will share some what's in my bag videos coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.